Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have covered single phase full wave semi control rectifier that is symmetrical, asymmetrical and full converter with free wheeling diode that is the lecture number 13 C this is lecture number 13 B and this is lecture number 13 A also we have covered a single phase control rectifier for RE type of load RL type of load and RLE type of load in previous lecture okay now in this lecture that is the lecture number 15 A we will solve some previous year gate problem that is from 1991 to 2008 okay so we will solve some problem that has been asked in gate exam from in between 1991 to 2008 okay let us move to the first problem this problem has been asked in 1993 when a line commutated converter operates in the inverter mode then it draws both real and reactive power it delivers both real and reactive power it delivers real power to the supply and it draws reactive power from the supply see line commutated converter means we are talking about single phase full converter okay this is single phase full converter and it is operating in inverter mode in all the rectifier what we are getting as output output we are getting dc and here we are giving input that is the ac input okay now this ac input is converted into dc then it is working as a rectifier that we have discussed now when dc power is fed back to the supply that is dc power is converted into ac power then that mode of operation is known as inverter mode is it fine and we have seen that output voltage we are getting that is equal to 2 vm upon pi into cos alpha and if alpha is less than 90 then it will work as a rectifier because output voltage is positive and if, if alpha is greater than 90 then output voltage we are getting negative that is the power we are getting negative in this case it is acting like a inverter so here in this question it is asking that when a line commutated converter operates in the inverter mode means we are talking about alpha greater than 9 so in this case what is get what we are getting we are getting v naught negative put alpha greater than 90 we are we will get v naught negative and i naught is always positive okay so p naught output power is negative means it is giving power dc power is converted into ac power in inverter mode okay and we know that in dc there is no concept of reactive power reactive power is zero so a dc power can supply only real power so answer would be it delivers real power to the ac supply so option c is correct now let us move to the next problem a single phase diode bridge rectifier supplies a highly inductive load highly inductive load means i naught is constant the load current can be assumed to be ripple free the ac supply side current waveform will be we have to find the source current waveform okay provided i naught is constant means load current is constant load current will look like this okay and we have to find the source current how the source current will look like so if you watch my lecture number 12 that is the single phase full wave bridge rectifier then there i explained you the how the source current will look like the source current will be somehow like this from 0 to pi it will be positive and from pi to pi to pi it will be negative go through lecture number 12 you will understand how the source current is coming so source current we are getting like a square wave or we can say that rectangular wave okay so what will be the answer it will be the option c see the next problem the single phase half control ac to dc bridge converter of figure supplies a 10 ohm resistor in series with 100 volt back emf the firing angle of thyristor is said to be 60 degree alpha is given that is equal to 60 degree find the average current through the resistor see here re type of load is connected and this is asymmetrical configuration is it fine now due to re type of load the load current is discontinuous i naught will be discontinuous so we have to see from where to where i am getting i naught so let us draw the input supply voltage vm sin omega t vm sin omega t will look like this okay now from where to where i will get current see alpha is 60 degree means thyristor this thyristor t1 is triggered at 60 degree so let us say this is t1 okay and here re type of load is connected re type of load is connected means let us say this is e okay this is e so current i will get only after the thyristor is triggering 
means current I will get from alpha is equal to 60 and up to what I will get current up to this angle that is the pi minus theta I have already explained you up to this angle the current I will get that is similar to the supply voltage is it fine so current I will get from alpha to pi minus theta where theta is the angle at which supply voltage is equal to emf okay so theta i will get that is equal to sine inverse e upon bm i can find theta like this so output current in one cycle i am getting from alpha to pi minus theta and again it is triggered since this is this is a semi controlled converter so it is triggered at pi plus alpha so again i will get output voltage from pi plus alpha to 2 pi minus theta is it fine like this so what will be the output current average output current will be see that a time period is pi so 1 upon pi from alpha to pi minus theta and i naught can be written as v naught minus e upon r where v naught is following the supply voltage that is equal to vm sin omega t minus e upon r so it will be vm sin omega t minus e upon r into d omega t okay so i naught average is equal to 1 upon pi r r is equal to 10 10 pi alpha is 60 degree so it will be from 60 to pi minus theta let us find theta theta is equal to sin inverse e by vm where e is equal to 100 volt and vm is equal to 200 root 2 so you will get theta is equal to 20.7 okay so from alpha to pi minus theta that is equal to 180 minus 20.7 that you will get 159.3 okay and it will be 200 root 2 sin omega t where omega i think it is given omega is equal to 304 radian okay minus 100 d omega t so after solving this you will get i naught average that is equal to 7.406 ampere this is simple integration you have to do you have to integrate this equation you will get i naught average is equal to 7.406 ampere now see the second part in the second part it is saying what will be the new average current through the resistor if a very large inductor is connected in series with the load means now the load has changed and load has become rle type of load means large inductor is connected what do you mean by this means i naught becomes constant so whenever i naught will be constant and we know that this is asymmetrical configuration then in this case v naught average we have already found that is equal to vm upon pi into 1 plus cos alpha go through the lecture number 13 you will understand this is lecture number 13 c you will understand v naught average is equal to vm upon pi into 1 plus cos alpha for continuous conduction mode okay that is equal to 200 root 2 upon pi into 1 plus cos 60 that is equal to 135.047 volt okay now i naught average i can easily find i naught average is equal to v naught average minus e upon r that is equal to 135.047 minus e is 100 upon 10 that is equal to 3.504 now let us move to the next question a phase controlled half controlled single phase converter see this is full wave converter this is not half controlled so this is fully controlled single phase converter as shown in figure the controlling angle alpha is equal to 30 degrees given output dc voltage wave shape see here i dc is denoted load is denoted as a constant current source constant current source what do you mean by this this means i naught is constant so whenever i naught will be constant then the output voltage waveform of single phase full converter i will get something like this from alpha to pi plus alpha then again it will follow like this if you have gone through my lecture number 12 then you will understand what i am doing so output voltage waveform you will get continuous like this so option a figure a and figure d both are correct so figure a and figure d are correct see the next problem a single phase breeze converter is used to charge a battery re type of load is connected having internal e is equal to 200 volt 
इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस आर इज इक्वल टू टू ओम द एस सी आर ट्रिगर्ड बाई अ कॉन्स्टेंट डी सी सिग्नल वट डू यू मीन बाई दिस इट इज ट्रिगर्ड बाई अ कॉन्स्टेंट डी सी सिग्नल मीन्स गेट करेंट इट इज सप्लाइंग अ कॉन्स्टेंट गेट करेंट फॉर ऑल टाइम मीन्स इट इज ट्रिगर्ड एट एन एंगल अल्फा इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओनली इज इट फाइन इफ एस सी आर टू गेट ओपन सर्किटेड देन वॉट विल बी द एवरेज चार्जिंग करेंट वॉट इज सेंग इफ दिस एस सी आर टू विल बी ओपन सर्किटेड देन वॉट इज द एवरेज चार्जिंग करेंट सो इफ एस सी आर टू विल बी ओपन सर्किटेड मीन्स दिस फुल कन्वर्टर दिस फुल कन्वर्टर विल बिहेव लाइक एन हाफ वेव अनकंट्रोल्ड रेक्टिफायर सी हाउ हियर आई एम गिविंग supply voltage input supply voltage vm sin omega t and here the re type of load is connected so let us say e is somehow like this okay and this is angle theta this is angle pi minus theta okay now how the current waveform will look like see the current i will get when supply voltage is greater than e this we have already discussed when supply voltage is greater than e then only this scr will be in forward conducting mode if i will trigger this scr here constant dc signal is given means constant gate current is supplying means it this scr will behave like a diode okay because i am supplying a constant dc signal for all time so this scr is triggered at t is equal to 0 and it will continue to be in on state unless and until we are reversing the supply voltage so it will behave like a diode bridge rectifier okay now here when vs is greater than e then only i will get current so i will get current from theta to pi minus theta like this whose equation is given as i not is equal to vm sin omega t minus e upon r okay similarly i will get the current in negative cycle also but here the scr2 is getting open circuited means for negative cycle this t2 and t3 this scr2 and this scr3 won't conduct because of this open circuited so for negative cycle we won't, we will not get current we will get current only for positive cycle because this scr2 is getting open circuited okay so i will get current only from theta to pi minus theta and this waveform is nothing but the waveform of output current of a single phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier which we have seen in lecture number 9c for re type of load and in that case i not average i was getting that is equal to 1 upon 2 pi r into 2 vm cos theta minus e into pi minus 2 theta now you have to find the theta vm is already given c vm is equal to 230 root 2 supply is rms 230 so vm will be 230 root 2 e is already given that is equal to 200 volt r is equal to 2 ohm so if i will find theta then i can easily find i not average and theta i can find theta is the angle at which the supply voltage is equal to emf so sin inverse e by vm will give you the theta that you will get 38 degree put e is equal to 200 volt and vm is equal to 230 root 2 you will get theta is equal to 38 degree so in radian you will get 38 into pi by 180 that is equal to 0.66 radian now put theta in radian here this will be in radian and here theta in degree vm is equal to 230 root 2 r is already given that is equal to 2m you will get i not is equal to 11.9 ampere now see the next problem a single phase fully controlled bridge converter supplies a load drawing constant and ripple free load current if the triggering angle is 30 degree alpha is given that is equal to 30 degree then input power factor will be what so we know that input power factor is nothing but g into fundamental displacement factor this we have derived in lecture number 12 that is the single phase full wave bridge rectifier and its harmonic analysis so there we derived input power factor is equal to g into fundamental per displacement factor where g is given as 2 root 2 upon pi and fundamental displacement factor is nothing but cos alpha and alpha is given 30 degree so 2 root 2 upon pi into cos 30 which you will get 0.78 so option b is correct now let us see the last problem a single phase fully controlled converter bridge is used for electrical breaking 
of separately excited DC motor. The DC motor load is represented by its equivalent circuit like this. Assume that load inductance is sufficient to ensure continuous and ripple free load current. So load current is constant and that is equal to 10 ampere. So we have to find the firing angle of the bridge for the load current I0 is equal to 10 ampere. See here what we are doing we are connecting separately excited DC motor. This is separately excited DC motor that is the RLE type of load. So when this motor will act like a motor then the polarity of EMF will be somehow like this. Now here this motor is used for electrical braking. What do you mean by this? Electrical braking means in electrical braking the power is supplied from load to source means this motor will act like a generator this motor will act like a generator and it will supply power to load okay so for supplying power to load means we have to the power must be negative now how the power will be negative power will be negative only when when either vo voltage output voltage will be negative or output current will be negative here current is constant and it is equal to 10 ampere and also we cannot change the direction of current because this thyristor won't allow the opposite direction of current to flow so i0 will always be positive so v0 must be negative here then only p0 will be negative in electrical braking power is supplied from load to source okay and for supplying power from load to source power must be output power must be negative when output power will be negative output power will be negative when v0 will be negative or i0 will be negative here i0 cannot be negative because this thyristor won't allow the reverse direction of current to flow so here v0 will be negative is it fine also to supply power the polarity of emf must be like this not like this this the polarity of emf is like this in case of motor but in case of generator the polarity of emf will get reversed so polarity of emf will be like this then only it will the load will deliver power to source see the emf will be like this then only it the supply current will be like this this is the load current and emf will deliver power to the load only when the polarity of emf will be like this which we have seen in telegance theorem in telegance theorem what is said if any battery polarity is such that current is leaving from plus terminal then that battery is supplying power to the other element so polarity of emf will be like this only then only it will transfer power to the other element that is the it will transfer power to the source remember this point when any dc machine will act like a motor then the equivalent circuit will be like this the polarity of emf will be like this but when that machine will be acting like a generator then the polarity of emf will get reversed and in that case it will transfer power to the source got it so here by default the polarity of emf it is given like this so no need to worry about that now we know that output voltage is negative okay so v0 i can write v0 equation here apply kvl v0 i will get that is equal to i0 r minus e by default you will get output voltage negative here why because the polarity of emf is taken such that it will transfer power to the source so i0 is here i0 is 10 r is equal to to you minus 150 that is equal to minus 130 and this is nothing but 2 vm upon pi into cos alpha we know that for constant current output voltage for single phase fully controlled bridge rectifier is 2 vm upon pi into cos alpha where vm is equal to 230 root 2 so find alpha alpha you will get 129 degree see here alpha is greater than 90 what do you mean by this this means v0 is negative v0 is coming out to be negative means it is load is supplying power to the source and this is possible only when the polarity of emf is like this then only you will get output voltage negative okay so that's all about this lecture in the next lecture that is the lecture number 15 b we will solve some problem from gate 2009 to 2017. So if you guys understood the concept then please like this video. For doubt solving you can join our Facebook group. Thanks for watching this video.